Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you are someone who enjoys talking about film, how about clicking that subscribe button? So today we're gonna to be talking about the tax collector. <laughs> Collector is an hour 35 minutes long. It's considered a drama thriller. It is directed by David Ayer. Um, it was released on VOD on August the 7th and it stars Bobby Soto, Shia LaBeouf, and George Lopez. This is gonna be like a spoiler review you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and pre-warn you. Now they did a really genius job in the way that they marketed this movie making us believe that Shia LaBeouf is the main character which in fact he is not. Uh, Bobby Soto is the main character. Oh my god, you guys, there's so much wrong with this movie. So much. This movie, for starters, should have probably came out like in the 80s or 90s. I cannot get past. Okay, I don't even know where to really start, but I'm gonna start with Shaw Buff's ear. Yeah, this. Buff plays Creeper in this movie. He's like, the muscle but we never really fully get a backstory on how it is that he technically became the muscle or, or really all that he's really done we never really saw him do anything like scandalous or like cartelish or you know like dangerous we did get like a little flashback of him like dragging a body um him talking about certain things that he did but you never really fully see see them i don't think it's gonna be like a full-on like really review just because it's it, don't spend your six dollars on this movie there is like a girl version in the movie once we do get to conejo um his hench woman uh would be gata which actually she was really bad she's actually the the woman on the poster she's kind of like the psychotic version of creeper and honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting like a showdown between Creeper and Magatha. Like I was like, oh, this is gonna be awesome. Like I could just see these two like, boom, like they're so, super psychotic and shit. And I was honestly waiting for them to go at it. I was like, this is gonna be like amazing shit. Like maybe they'll fall in love, I don't know. But no, that doesn't happen. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys now, they fucking torture Creeper and they fucking kill him okay like got this like banging his like kneecap with like a hammer and like at the end conejo like just smashes his face in with his fucking boot so this movie if you are like not into like bloody shit you're not gonna enjoy this there's a lot of shooting and like they kill the wife there's a lot of bloody stuff um there's no like immediate danger to the children but there is obviously danger in like murder with women um, which is one. Well, they've got that dice too. Don't watch this movie, you guys. I watch it so you guys don't have to. So, Conejo, I know I'm like just jumping all over the place because it's just, I just, I can't with this movie, you guys. Conejo is like the new guy in town who's trying to like take over. And you really don't want to mess with this fucker just because he is involved with like satanic stuff that I really don't want to like address too much here. The script, you guys, is, it's like, do people even talk like this? when he goes to talk to the leader of the bloods uh, is his name bones i don't know you guys i can't remember his name and like tells them about like the kids being kidnapped and like his reaction and his response was just like i laughed so much in this movie because i just could not get past the dialect like when he was also digging <laughs> When he was like, in, like digging to get the barrel of money out and then here comes a prima like <laughs> with the fucking tacos <laughs> to feed him. Like why? Why did we need that scene? Okay, it's honestly you guys I thought this movie was two hours long. It felt two hours. It's only an hour and 35 minutes long. It was like 35 minutes too long. You, you, you have no connection to none of the characters, okay? And, oh, George Lopez, like I said, he, he plays uh, the feel. And he's, I mean, he's freaking George Lopez. Do you believe him as a gangster? No, you don't. I see during the Kisniana when he tells David, I'm about to go take care of this. Like, no worry. I was just like, I'm fucking about to die. This was supposed to be a theatrical release, you guys. I'm so glad it wasn't. 
It should have been a freaking Netflix movie, to be honest with you. They should not eat. We're going to give this only six bucks to rent. I want my fucking six bucks back Amazon. I really do. It has 18% on Rotten Tomatoes right now, you guys. Seriously. My brother-in-law really wanted to see this movie. And I really forced him to watch it um, yesterday or to watch it this morning. I was like, you know, watch it before I do my review. I check with him and he goes, no. He did not like it. He did not understand it. He's all like, would I rewatch it? No. Will I buy it? Hell no. That is all I'm going to say about the tax collector. If you've seen the tax collector, what did you guys think about it? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? Let me know in the comment section down below. Maybe you did enjoy it. But like I said earlier, I think I said it earlier, this movie I feel like belongs more like within like the 80s or 90s. David Ayer, I don't know what the fuck you were thinking. Mm. Alright you guys, before you guys click out this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post something new. Until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye!